I'm just here this morning in a little place called Isola. And so I might even show you around a little bit, just thinking it's starting to feel so much like spring. I can't believe it's almost been like five months. I'm about to sit down just to do a little Q&A. Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm just here this morning in a little place called Isola. I'm here because I am about to head in to open a bank account or at least try my best at attempting to open a bank account. So I thought it might be useful to some of you guys if any of you are interested in opening one. Um, if you're moving to Italy and you're sort of trying to sort out your admin, your life and your admins um, things when you're first coming here, having a bank account is like a really sort of easy way to ensure you're not paying any like unwanted fees with banks and things like that. Although it is difficult, especially for me, I've noticed as a foreigner, trying to open a bank account when you don't have an Italian passport, when your passport is foreign. So essentially what i had to do it would usually be really easy and seamless to open a bank account online and most people can just do it online if you're like european or something of course but because my passport is foreign it means that i have to come in person and do it so that's what i'm doing today i'm going to go in now and afterwards i'll kind of debrief with you guys and just let you know the process and everything like that if you're interested in that if you're not you can obviously just skip past this part but I thought i'd take you guys along with me and just show you how it goes and everything like that but the guy that i spoke to if you watched my last weekly vlog you'll know that he was really really helpful he helped me quite a lot he was really really nice but i'm going in i have to practice my italian because he doesn't speak any english so my appointments with him hopefully it should all go fine but i'll let you guys know check in with you guys afterwards and everything and yeah i'll talk to you later i've just finished up in the bank so basically what I needed was, it can be a little bit complicated I imagine if you wanted to open a bank account and you didn't have like a work contract or you weren't a student, which I'm sure like most people would if you wanted to open a bank account, you would have like some kind of income or money to transfer into the account. Basically what I needed was a codice fiscale, that was mandatory. You need some kind of work contract, your ID. Basically, you just need those couple of documents. If you have like a tax file number that is from another country, you should have that as well to bring with you. And basically just like regular details that you would need. But even though it took like quite a long time to actually open it, he mostly did all the work for me. So I basically just needed to give him like a few things and then he just like did everything for me. So it was pretty easy, but it did take quite a long time. So choose a day where you have like at least a couple of hours to spare in your day and you should be absolutely fine but I would highly recommend it he was so helpful I'm going to sign off this little clip here head home because it's lunchtime and I'm gonna go home and have lunch now but I'll check in with you guys a bit later and give you a little bit more detail as to what it kind of took to um, to open and things like that but I'm gonna head back home now and yeah I'll check with you guys later but it was pretty easy though it was pretty straightforward if any of you guys um, are interested in kind of opening a bank account then you should be absolutely fine you just need like some basic details and things like that but anyway I'm gonna stop talking head home and I'll check with you guys so it's Tuesday today and I've just come back from a walk uh, an afternoon walk we just had lunch and went for a walk to get a little coffee and came home today I've just been doing a little bit of work or quite a bit of work actually I've been organizing all my May content for my job so getting it in getting it done nice and early um, and getting a little bit of a head start because I finished my April content quite early this month so that was good so I started on that today and I wanted to just go over a little bit um, when, how I opened the bank account yesterday so I touched on that a little bit yesterday when I kind of just finished but I wanted to just go over it in a little bit more detail um, for those of you who are interested opening a bank account yourself here in Italy it could be useful to some of you guys to get some of this information for yourself so basically what I needed to give them was just like my regular documents so passport, my codice fiscale my tax file number for Australia and a bunch of contact details so obviously you know like my phone number, um, my address, 
like international address and everything like that so it's kind of like the standard procedure that you would expect but the good thing about it is that they kind of do everything for you so even though it did take a really long time like I was in there for probably an hour and a half I think it did take a long time but the good thing was that he kind of did everything for me so I was just kind of like sitting in there answering the questions that he had for me and he was just kind of like explaining the process to me so once I actually finished in there yesterday um, he said that there's actually you know things that I have to do myself at home so they're gonna send me an email with like my client ID and everything and basically what I have to do is just set up the account sort of online so that my IBAN activates so they gave me an IBAN and a Swift which is like the big, big Swift. Uh, and basically what I have to do is just activate it online, change my password and everything like that. And then they're gonna send me a card in the mail, but it's pretty straightforward. I think the main thing was when I was telling you guys yesterday was that my passport is foreign. So if it wasn't foreign, I'd be able to just do it online and they would kind of like just send out the documents to you but because I have an Australian passport it was a lot more complicated and they needed to verify everything through the person who works at the bank so I don't know if I mentioned yesterday the bank that I went with but it's called Fineco and I would really recommend it it's um it's sort of like it's not like a usual bank most of it is online now so when you go to a Fineco building it's all uh it doesn't look like a regular bank it's just they have a desk and the person that works at the desk and that's the guy that basically will help you open the open the account and yeah so most of it's online and it's free for the first month and then i'm not really sure how much it is for the bank fees after that but when I find out, I'll let you guys know if that's something you're interested in. But if you're interested in anything else, if you have any more questions, just leave them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them if I know the answer or if that's something that we went over in the in the meeting. But I thought that would be some um, I thought that would be useful to some of you guys if you're wanting to open a bank account in Italy, just to go over that and yeah but it wasn't too complicated it just like i said took a long time so yeah if you are wanting to open a bank account i would recommend just ensuring that you choose a day where you actually have a couple of hours to spare because if you're going in there thinking that's going to take 20 minutes it's not <laughs> so yeah i think allow about two hours <laughs> sounds like a long time but there is a lot of paperwork like the book the booklet that he had to fill out was about this thick i'm not joking so yeah it's just a lot of repeated information pretty much and i had to sign like 12 different pages and whatever but that's just italy so if you want to move to italy be prepared that the bureaucratic processes are not very seamless and they do take a long time but anyway that's my little portion of the vlog for today i'm not really getting up to very much this afternoon so i'm just kind of going to be chilling here uh i finished up work for today uh before i went before we went out for the walk so now i'm just going to probably listen to a podcast and chill for a bit just have a nice relaxing afternoon i think nice relaxing tuesday and then tomorrow i'm gonna go and see my friend probably i don't know what we'll get to but it's still an orange zone here in milan so kind of limited but anyway i'll check with you guys tomorrow and i'm currently in a little place called garibaldi and i'm about to go and meet my friend for a coffee we're just gonna have like a really chill coffee and a chill kind of morning i had my sunglasses on before but i feel like i can't wear sunglasses when i'm wearing a mask because it just feels like too much like i feel like well not only do they fog up but i feel like i'm trying to hide myself or something like i just get really claustrophobic it's so weird but i really miss wearing sunglasses but it's hard to wear them when when you have the mask but anyway i'm going to meet her for a coffee now it's about midday just for like i don't know half an hour 40 minutes and then i'm gonna head back home and we'll have lunch and stuff like that but yeah this area of milan is really quite nice so i might even show you around a little bit um when i'm going out walking and you can like have a look around have a little tour i think i've taken you around this area before but maybe not not in much detail so i don't know i might do a little tour afterwards if i have time before i go home but yeah i'm here quite a lot <laughs> you'll see my vlogs just to the left of me is corso como which i spend a lot of time on actually but anyway today is wednesday and 
that's basically my plan for today. I'm going to do a bit of work this afternoon since I didn't get it done this morning. So um, I've got quite a bit of work to do. I have to send through all my April content to, to my boss. So I'm going to do that this afternoon and get a little bit more work done. Start doing a little bit more planning for May as well. And yeah, I guess I'll take you guys along with my day and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. place just around the corner it's called Illy or we might even go for a walk along Corsa Como I'm not really sure but she's running a little bit late but I was just thinking it's starting to feel so much like spring in Milan like I'm literally in a singlet and a blazer and I don't even need any other layers it's so so nice but yeah I don't know I'm just gonna wait here and I'm kind of sitting like behind me it's kind of like where all the new skyscrapers and things like that are in Milan so it's um it's quite a new area it's called Porta Nuova and it's it's close to the Piazza Gaiolenti, I believe it's called. Um, so I'm just sitting like kind of near there now, watching people go past like, on their bikes and everything like that. It's super nice. It's a really beautiful day today. Not cold at all, and the sun is so warm. You see in the sun, so yeah, it's really nice here in Milan. But there seems to be a lot of people out, despite it being like a an orange zone. I mean, you're not really meant to go out that much. Um, only for some kind of like exercise and whatever but I mean you're still like you still can go out but it's just not as free as if it were in Yellow Zone for example but you can still get like takeaway coffees and things like that which is good but anyway but anyway I'm gonna leave this little clip here and check with you guys a bit later because I think my friend has just arrived. it's hard to kind of like match the times together because obviously there's like a massive time difference I think they're about 10 hours ahead of us here in Italy so um, we finally got to catch up after like I can't believe it's almost been like five months since since we caught up which is absolutely crazy this time has gone so quickly it's crazy to think about but at the moment I'm just getting ready to do a little bit of a workout um, I'm just getting ready now to do a little bit of a workout because <laughs> I haven't done one for a few days and my body is feeling like I just want to I just want to move it so that's what I'm going to do this morning um, and just get set up for the day and then this afternoon I'll probably head out with one of my friends and we're going to go get a gelato because it honestly feels like spring and <laughs> I haven't done that since I've been here so that'll be really nice just to do that catch up with her and have a nice gelato for the afternoon but um, I was just like putting my hair up, putting on some workout clothes and I'm going to just do a workout probably for like 30 minutes or something, um, just nice and quick and have a shower, get ready. I might do a little bit of work this morning. I've got um, a few emails to do and kind of like collaborations to organize and yeah, that's about it this morning. But. I'm going to go do my workout now, catch up with you guys in a little while, probably this afternoon when I head out to do something a little bit more exciting, when I head out to go and meet my friend. I'll take you guys along. Um, we're going to go get gelato. So, um, so yeah, that's 
soon. I'll catch up with you guys this afternoon. to go out for some breakfast just for some croissants and coffee we'll have to get a takeaway because it's um because we can't really eat it in there at the moment due to the restrictions and everything so we're just gonna go get some takeaway breakfast and come back home but yeah that's what we're doing this morning um we can't eat it in there so i don't know if i'll take it or take you guys along with me or uh just talk to you later but i think i'm gonna do like a little q a segment today like I did in my last vlog, just answering some of your questions that I got from Instagram this week. So I thought that might be useful if any of you guys are interested. That's a pretty chill Saturday today. Just gonna go out, have some breakfast, come back home and just chill as usual. I have a little bit of work to do, um, but a lot of brands, you know, obviously don't respond on weekends. So I'm a bit limited with what I can do, but I do have some content that I can start on at least. So that's good. I also received some really exciting news yesterday. I might fill you guys in my next vlog because it's still like pending. But yeah, I got some really exciting news yesterday. So yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling really good. It's just so much admin, <laughs> like being a foreigner, being an Australian in Italy. There's so much paperwork. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> down just to do a little Q&A of some questions that I've received in my DMs this week regarding Milan, life in Milan, um, the situation at the moment, etc. So I feel like this will be really useful to some of you guys if you're, especially if you're a student and you're just wondering like what life is like here, what student is like, what student life is like and how it's, I guess, changed since when I was here the first time. So I'm going to answer a few questions from my Instagram DMs because I feel like they'll cover a lot of your predicaments, I guess. So the first one that I got is from Maria Luisa. And it says, hi Kaya, how's it going? I'm from Brazil and currently getting things ready for my exchange in Milan. My plan is to go to Polymi, so I think that's Polytechnico, by the second semester of 2021. The application process starts in April, but with all the, um, but with all the COVID situation, I'm getting really nervous about it. Don't know if it's the best choice to move to another country in the middle of a pandemic. Maybe I should wait another semester so I can enjoy even more of the city without masks, etc. Two questions. Is it better to wait to go in February 2022 than September 2021? How is everything there? Is it dangerous? Thank you so much. So I feel like this will be a really common question given the situation at the moment. Everything's kind of constantly changing. To answer your question, I mean, it honestly depends what you're prepared, what you're prepared for. I would say by September, I mean, I'm hoping that after the summertime, after the warmer weather, that things will start to calm down a little bit and it'll be like a little bit more back to normal. But obviously I can't promise anything. I can't forecast the future. But if it was me and I was planning to do my exchange, I would still go ahead with it. I mean, I came here in the middle of this whole situation, so I'm probably a little bit crazy or some people might say I'm a little bit crazy, but, but if it was me, I would definitely still come in September, 2021, I think. I wouldn't say it's dangerous. I mean, you have to be careful, I guess, everywhere you are, but at the same time, you can't stop living your life or whatever the situation is. Doesn't matter if it's this particular situation, which obviously people have been taking more precautions, but I think in general, I mean, I would still go ahead with it if I was you. I wouldn't say it's dangerous. You do still have to wear masks everywhere you go. So at the moment, it's not ideal. We're about to go into another lockdown as well, another red zone. And it's kind of jumping in and out of red zone, orange zone, yellow zone. So it is really hard to say, but I mean, I'm hoping by September, if you want to come in September, then things will be a little bit more back to normal. I guess it just depends on, it depends on you. Like 
The point is that you still can see people. It just might be harder to meet people if you're coming um, if you're coming during a time where you're constantly kind of dipping in and out of red zone, orange zone. I mean, I definitely, even before I came here, I was deliberating for so long whether I should just wait, whether I should, um, you know, wait for things to calm down, etc. But I find that for me personally, waiting for things to get better or get back to normal, you know, you never know when that's going to happen. So if it was me, I would not put my life on hold any further. I would just do it, just make the, the decision and commit to it. And that's exactly what I did when I came to Milan this time because I could have been scared and not come at all. Like it was a long way for me to come from Australia. Coming back here, it was quite a big decision, but you know, I just made the decision and I didn't look back. So just try and make your decision. Don't look back on it. Don't be scared. There's nothing to be scared about. You just have to, you know, have your wits about you and just go into it with confidence. That's what I did. And that's been working for me so far. And it's still been an enjoyable time here, even though you do still have to wear masks and everything out. I am lucky in that I do have a couple of friends here already in the city and it's helped me to meet new people as well. So all it takes really is just knowing that one person and it kind of becomes a domino effect and you still can go and see people. It's not like you're trapped inside your home. There are still options and you still can meet people. It just might be a little bit harder. There just might be a little bit more um, barriers in your way, I suppose you would say. So if I was you, I would definitely still go for it in uh, this year if you can. And if that feels like the right decision for you, but yeah, you just have to feel what's right for you and go with that. The next one says, hi, I watch your videos on YouTube and I was wondering which market do you go to? I'd love going to markets on the weekend and I'm looking for any places to go. So the market that I go to, I believe it's just off uh, via Suzini, I believe it's called in Milan. It's in Milan Cagranda, so that which is on the purple line in Milan, and it's really accessible from there. So if you just look up, I think Viale Suzini, Viale Giovanni Suzini, you should find it. It should come up. It's right. Um, it's off one of the roads, like to the left of that street. So you'll definitely find it if you um, if you look if you look that one up. The next question is from Maria, and she says. Hi Kaya, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your personal experience at Catolica in Milan. I know you made a bunch of videos talking about Milan, but it would be awesome if I could ask you some questions about this. I hope you can read this and get back to me when you have the chance. Thank you so much. Thank you for sending your question. To answer your question about Catolica, I personally had a really good experience at the university. Firstly, it's so beautiful. The university has uh, two really large quadrangles and they're both so beautiful just full of grass and greenery and the buildings are so beautiful and like historic looking in terms of the studies i would say that i mean in italy in general i find a lot of the university content to be very very theoretical and it sort of lacks a bit of that practical element which i was used to in australia but in saying that though I did really love the international curriculum courses that I did because they facilitated me meeting so many new people and I found that to be a really, really good side, especially Milan as a city in general is such a great international city. Uh, sorry, city for international students because you do meet so many of them, especially if you are doing language classes. So I would really recommend it in that sense. I would say if you are wanting to meet Italian friends, you really do have to push yourself out of your comfort zone and talk to people yourself. Otherwise, you just won't meet people. Like you just won't have people sort of coming up to you. You really have to put yourself out there. Introduce yourself to the professor, I would say, initially, just so if you do need any help, they know, you know, you're not Italian and to help you like when you need when you need some help. Otherwise, like getting to know other international students can be really, really useful to you as well. So they can like help you, tutor you, edit your work and everything like that. Uh, but that's all the questions I'm going to answer for now. If you do have any other questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. I'll put it on the screen here. But I hope that was really useful. And I'm going to end it here, end this little clip here, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday today, the last day of the week and the last day of this vlog. We've just had a really chill morning this morning. We went out for coffee and croissants as usual. Uh, it's all takeaway at the moment. So we just went for a little walk. My boyfriend got his uh, newspaper this morning, like usual. 
I usually does that on Saturdays and Sundays because there's like a specific one that comes out on both days and so we go on a little walk in the morning and just go and get that um, but I was just saying because we still have to wear masks everywhere that my skin has been getting so bad especially like on this side of my face and I've been getting like super dry so I have the ones that you can rewash and reuse so I think I don't know what's if there's something in it that's like irritating my skin or something or it's just like because you're breathing constantly and it just goes straight back onto your face like you can't the air can't sort of escape so I think it's natural for it to be kind of bad for your skin but yeah it's kind of affecting it quite a bit but I'm thinking like I want to get some new sort of serums and skincare stuff because I haven't had like a solid skincare routine for quite a long time um, since I've been back in Milan I've kind of been using just like random products because you know shops have been kind of opening and closing and I haven't really known what to what to sort of buy so I need to watch it like a bunch of sort of recommendation videos on various skincare products so I can try and find the right match for my skin because I've done a lot of trial and error and I haven't found something that's like really working for me and because I'm having sort of like some issues like I've always sort of had um on my cheeks it's not pimples but it's sort of like like it feels textured like it feels sort of like little tiny bumps and you can't really see them from a distance even up close like people will say oh your skin is so good but I can feel them like on my on my face and also a little bit on the back of my arms I've heard a little bit about the Bang & Bod, Bang & Body cream that it kind of helps and also Lano. I've tried Lano but it hasn't seemed to do very much for, I don't know, I think they call it like chicken skin but it's not, it's not that severe. Like I know some people can get, get it really, really red and noticeable. Mine's not really red, it's just like appearing as tiny little bumps and it's kind of just like annoying me. Like I just want it to be smooth. It's like on the back of my arms and also on my face. So I'm going to see if I can find something for that. I um, want to try, like I'm open to all suggestions. If you guys have like a really good skincare product you like, um, to leave it in the comments below. And I can definitely do a video like updating, updating on how my skin is going and everything. If that would be useful or something that you guys wanted to see. But anyway, today, as I said, is Sunday and we're just going to have a really chill day. I've got... A little bit of work to do but I pretty much sorted all my content for May now which is really good so because it's Sunday I'll, I'll wait until I send all of that through to my boss and she can just like look over it confirm and approve all my content for May and then that's me done and then I can kind of just like go off by myself and write my articles and do further research for June etc etc so that's really good that's kind of like lined up and out of the way which is nice so I'm feeling super accomplished like going into the um, sorry, going out of the week, I should say, and entering a new week. I'm feeling like super productive and yeah, so I'm going to sign off this little clip here, check with you guys a little bit later, go have my breakfast. I got a croissant and a coffee this morning and yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later.